What's going on, people? Let me clean my camera off. Actually, it's my cell phone. Anyways, you guys see my uh, previous video underneath this one. Uh, I was, why is the camera so bright? I was working on this yellow machine. The best engine in the world, Caterpillar. No, it's not. Uh, but I own one of these things. I always rent Detroit's, I always liked them. But uh, I came across the cat and I said, why not? I heard good stories about it. Well, not since I own one. Anyways, um, so the previous video below, we were working on a <clears throat> wire harness there's nothing wrong with that wire harness but it was one after one I done with it uh, this fuel pump I got a new one on so like I said before <clears throat> I will go a little bit more details that's the fuel pump <clears throat> uh, the truck it runs fine but it was acting like it's locking on fuel like it doesn't get enough fuel yes i know maybe your fuel filters clogged up i trust me i changed them i tried different ones and caterpillars that's what i got now two cat filters and i tried bold ones in a fleet guard and etc and check the fuel pressure at, uh, at at the housing which is right here once again i show you today i actually checked the fuel pressure this is my return line i checked the fuel pressure what comes out of the head everything was fine <clears throat> so i figured maybe my injector harness that's why i got the injector harness then i was thinking maybe the fuel pump when it gets hot um it loses the kind of can't build up as pressure when it's under the load or whatever and it's hard to check unless you have a dyno or you got a load behind and then you got to run a line and check it in a cab but i don't have a gauge for that so i made one today i'm actually bobtailing down the road check the fuel pressure fuel pressure was fine let the truck run for about it i would say an hour got it completely warm first of all i put the truck back together test drove it everything nope still same thing after changing the fuel pump and the valve cover underneath the valve cover injector harness so the ecm is tuned by pittsburgh power to the six and a quarter i really like pittsburgh power product they are actually legit in my opinion some people are gonna say i like pdi or they both socks or whatever but i dealt with them for numerous years uh, with my other two three previous trucks or oh, this is the third one whatever and i always like the pittsburgh power yes they are kind of pricey but they always were very helpful so i end up calling the guy and i says hey um, got an ECM tune and explained to him the motor was overhauled in March and ECM was tuned by you guys prior to that and then I got the new ECM you guys retuned it etc etc and I explained to him what's going on with the engine I said it's locking the fuel he's the one who told me you need to check the fuel pressure uh, on the coming out side which is a uh, return line from ahead so that's how I come across that he actually gave me the spec on it so I checked that and it was fine i called him back and i says look the fuel pressure looks fine everything seems normal uh but it's still acting like the motor gets louder under the load uh, and it doesn't seems like it's pulled quite right and when it's idling it don't have a normal roar to the exhaust it's uh it's i would say almost like sputtering um we went back and he kind of when the motor was overhauled i told i told him in march told him exactly what's been replaced on it and he says you did all the right things but but did you ever check change your cam and crank position sensor he says no i did not i didn't tell the caterpillar had a problems with the with their sensor they actually is pretty solid uh sensor motor they they have very low fail on a sensor side besides the VVAs, which is, that's all, those actually have valves. So <clears throat> he told me a certs specifically a certs I don't know how the E models or 6NZs, but 
uh, the ACERT will run without the cam sensor. They will run with the, only with the crank. If you don't completely unplug your cam sensor, obviously you're gonna have a check engine light on, but what happened is he told me, he says, you know what, I know you already spent a ton of money. He says, just try one more thing, why not? Because you're already throwing parts on it. Go buy yourself a um, cam position sensor, which is this guy. Comes with a piece of harness and plugs right, right there. So, $134. I won't bother one of those. This is my old one. I'll show you guys. This is my old sensor. That's what it looks like. There's no any rips on it or anything like that. Actually, I looked over it. Everything seems fine. Check same thing over here. No corrosion on the plug. No metal on the end of it. And uh, I said, okay, well, I end up going I end up going buying a new one. So $134 just for the sensor. Yes, it's Caterpillar. You gotta buy the O-ring separately. Really? So I bought an O-ring. It's four dollars and sixty-nine cents. Put that sucker in, voila, problem solved. Never check engine light was on for it. Um never miss fire or anything. Starts fine, everything. It was a crank cam position sensor, not a crank, I'm sorry, cam position sensor. So <clears throat> from all this time, by changing the number four injector, I don't know why they throw the check engine light on that a few times, but I still changed the wire harness and replacing all this rest of the parts and the check valves and everything else. It was goddamn that thing right there. So if anybody has... That problem seems like the A-cert locking on fuel and power. Start from the easy side. Don't overlook the simplest thing, which is sensors. Um, that's what I should start, but I didn't. So I'm guilty of myself. But thanks a lot to the, to the Pittsburgh Power. They helped me out a lot, and uh, I got it fixed. Seems like I got a fix. I still didn't have a load underneath, but I can tell the difference. It's idling a lot, a lot better, and it's running down the road, but bobtailing a lot better than it was before. So, that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching, guys.